this is Alexandra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm here with one of my best friends, Zoe. <laughs> How many of you didn't know? This is my friend Zoe. You probably already know who she is. And on today's episode of Zoe and Xander's Reviews, we're going to be reviewing the infamous Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation, which comes in 35 glorious shades. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be reviewing the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. We're also going to be reviewing the primer, the powders, and some of the brushes as well. So stay tuned for the application, the details, and... The claims of the product. The claims and the wear test. Period! We get to everything right after this montage. This montage. <laughs> if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe down below and subscribe to Zoe. The link will be in the description box down below. Without further ado, let's, let's get, get right on into the, the video. video. On with the video. <laughs> also, I'm gonna go do my eyes off camera, so I'll be back. All right, so I just did my eyes and eyebrows off camera. For anyone wondering, I used the ColourPop Baby Got Peach Palette. And uh, on my lashes, I'm wearing the TL Force from Lovely Lashes. So now we're going to be using the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Um, this baby retails for a hot $80 Canadian at Sephora. Um, you can also get it on Pat McGrath's website. It's a perfecting primer that smooths, hydrates, and blurs with a sublime silken effect. The highlighted ingredients include hyaluronic acid, which we both love. Yeah, it's a really good ingredient for hydrating the skin. This also has cosmetic filler powder, which is a coated, a coated microsphere powder meant to mimic the smoothness and clarity of ceramic to fill in the look of wrinkles and diffuse light, creating an even and luminous surface. And yeah, we have a lot of wrinkles. Yeah. A lot. I like really have really mature skin. Yeah. That has a lot of claims, so we're gonna put that to the test. The suggested use for this primer is says using your fingertips, apply a dime sized amount of the skin refining primer to the center of the face and blend outward. Before we finally start using this, we just want to talk about the packaging. Yeah, so um, right off the bat, it's very, it's not, it doesn't feel very luxe. It feels cheap, we're not gonna lie. And this is, thing is like peeling off as you can see. And it's just like a little like sticker and the bottom just looks like plastic. It's not that heavy. For $80, you'd expect for, more. For $80, right off the bat, yeah. it doesn't look too good. Nice. It smells nice. It doesn't really smell like much. It smells just like normal. My skin definitely looks a lot more smooth. Yeah. It has a slight tackiness to it. It does have a slight tackiness. Twenty dollars retail. Twenty dollars. We're gonna talk about the foundation now. It had comes in thirty five shades, which. Good. That's like pretty good. I definitely feel a little moisturizing. I do too. Like, I feel like a little bit more moisturized. It's also retails for $90 Canadian. The primer has one it's fluid ounce. 30 mils. Which is like pretty standard. It's pretty standard. Flawless. Flawless. And for the foundation, you get 1.18 ounces, 35 mils. That's pretty good. Yeah. A little bit more than average. It says it's a long wearing, customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage. So sheer to medium. Um, in a wide range of universal hues that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard, coverage medium, finish. It's supposed to be natural. Um, it's The fourth ingredient is alcohol, which isn't the best. It looks like, not like a normal foundation. It's nice, I like it. So these are the brushes, the powder and the foundation one. And as you can see, the golds are a little different, which yeah. is a little odd. And to be honest, I don't feel that expensive. So the powder brush is $77 and the foundation brush is $73. That um, is, I would not pay that. So we're gonna be doing half of our face with the, the brush, brush and the other side with a sponge. No. I'm gonna try medium 17 because the other ones look very dark. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with light five and I'm just gonna do, oh, it's really liquidy. Yeah, it's really liquidy. A lot of stuff's hype, right? A lot of it's hype. This looks a bit light, I'm scared. It's really sheer. I'm gonna go in with the brush. I have nothing on the brush, I might add some though. Right off the bat, it's looking really sheer. Maybe see if you can like build it. So I'm gonna go in with like a lot more on the brush and see if I can build it. But I actually really like how it's looking. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more. And by little, I mean a lot. It's very liquidy. Very liquid. It's a little too streaky for me. Streaky is, it's streaky. I'd say it's a satin finish right off the bat. It's not too luminous. Yeah, it's not too luminous. Do this. We gotta take it there. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take it there. The brush 
right off the bat it's a nice brush like i probably will use it again but for 70 dollars or 73 or whatever it is it's not worth it like right off the bat like, i'm not sure if i like the primer my skin is a better look your skin looks like really dry it's safe to say if you like full coverage this isn't the foundation for you i like the brush tag a little bit better um but it's you definitely like don't need this brush. I have a lot of other ones like the one I'm using with another palm is the Morphe M439. Yeah, I, I like it, but again, I don't like putting my foundation on with this one. It's and a brush. little, it's a little bit more denser. It's a little bit more dense, but it's pretty much like like very similar. So. Yeah, save your coin. Save your coin. Really lightweight. So lightweight. Um. Going with another palm. I'm gonna be going with my favorite concealer. Not switching anything up. Um, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in Lace, my all-time favorite. And then I'm going to be going with the new Benefit Concealer, the Boing Cakeless Concealer in shade 7. Oh, I'm going to need to go a little lighter. That's shade 7. I'm going to go on with a little bit of shade 6. <laughs> yeah. So far, my thoughts. I have like normal dry skin, mostly normal skin. Uh, I like more of a luminous, hydrated look. It's kind of like... I don't know. I don't love the way I'm making my skin look. I stay away from like smoothing primers, so this is kind of like a new look for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new look for me. It's a new sure. look. All right. Well, your nose is like looking like kind of rough, like dry. Um, I'm using the milk stick in shape, please. I'm just gonna go ahead and set with the Laura Mercier Trident Two powder. I'm gonna go ahead and set with the. Pat McGrath powder that launched with the foundation, primer, and brushes in shade light, medium, too. It's a little bit light for me, so I'm just going to do it like under my eyes, a little on the forehead, you know, tease. Right off the bat, the packaging doesn't look, it doesn't feel very luxe. It feels very plasticky and light. It has like a cushion thing that you push down and then it like, the powder comes up from it. So I'm going to put it. I just wanted to mention that the powder is $80 Canadian. And how much? For five grams. How much does Laura Mercier have? Laura Mercier has 29 grams. I'm just gonna be using a Morphe M451 and just like lightly setting it and then I'm gonna go on and bake after, but like this is what I do first. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush actually because I forgot I had it. It's extremely big and it's not gonna fit under my eye. Uh. <laughs> I'm looking really dry and I'm also looking very dry. So yeah, my under eyes look really dry with this powder. I'm gonna really set. Putting a little bit in the forehead. Thank you. I don't usually set my whole face personally. If you like setting your whole face, this is a nice brush, but it's not worth it for $70. We're both gonna try doing a flash test. What do you think? No. Do you know flash? Foundation just looks so bad on flash camera. Like, actually, really bad. Yeah. I'm gonna use some more people pin set as. Trying to bring some life back into these the batons. So I'm just gonna start talking to the camera. So we went ahead and we gave ourselves a little spritz of the Morphe Prep and Set Continue Setting Mist. It and looks really good actually. It's looking better now. I like the way I look a lot. Um, yeah, I'm definitely living for a lot more than I was before. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of our makeup off camera. We'll be right back. back. So we just finished the rest of our makeup, we completed our looks, and now it's time to see how the foundation wears and put it to the test. Um, we won't really be putting it to the test that much because it is 5 o'clock. So yeah. maybe for the next 4 hours? Because I ain't trying to wear this makeup till 1 in the morning. We'll see where this goes. So far it's looking pretty good. Um, what, do you, what would you say? Same thing happened to me that happened to you? Yeah, and it lifted. It looks pretty good, I think. Now it's really close up. Nose is not looking too good. Like, I don't look terrible, but like, I look better. Same for me. We'll see how it works. See how it works, I need some water. So yeah, it's uh, 5.15 right now. So we've had the Pomegranate Foundation on for about two hours now. It's almost seven. And what are your thoughts? Personally, I think I look really good. 
like pretty glowy not gonna lie i like this dude that's going on yeah your skin looks good you do you have like a little bit of creasing my your smile lines yeah right here a little your nose just looks like a little bit dry yeah close up I think on for that. me i have a little bit going on here like starting um my nose looks a little dry my forehead looks a little textured but i do have like a nice dew um Personally, I think I looked a little bit better. I think I looked better too. So we might have different answers. We would have, we have different answers. <laughs> I'm not mad at what's going on right now. I'm not mad at it, but I know it could be better. Yeah. So that's it so far. Um, we'll check in a bit later as well. <laughs> so we've had the foundation on for over four hours now, and we are getting a little bit oily, but nothing too major. And I'm not mad about it. Not too major. Um, looking pretty good so far. I spilled some water on myself and it wore off. Like I just yeah. like tried to like dab it in and it like was no completely it. came off. Like it's definitely not long, long wearing. So that alcohol in it ain't doing nothing. Yeah, honestly, it's not long wearing. Not long wearing. Um, it is a little bit luminous. Like we are getting a little bit oily or but I'm dewy. And also my smile lines are starting to crease. Yeah, me too. And I've just looked better. I'm not looking that great. Yeah, me neither. Um, and definitely for the price, like, it's an okay foundation, but for the price, it's definitely not... Not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like an It Cosmetics, like, CC cream would do, like, the same thing. Um, so, if, uh, you're insanely rich and don't know what to do with your money, buy this foundation. <laughs> no, it's definitely not worth it. And it's definitely not worth it, unless you want to your, your money. I didn't really like the primer, either. I felt yeah. like it was really pointless. And what for about me. the powder? The powder, honestly, you could probably get like you get a fit five me. grams. You get five grams for ninety dollars. Um, a Maybelline Fit Me, a Maybelline Fit Me loose powder would probably be better to be honest. I yeah. like that one. It doesn't look like that amazing. Yeah, that's, for it, the price, it's not like wowing me right now. It's not life changing, earth breaking. Yeah, if it's not life changing, and then, then it's not worth ninety dollars. Yeah. So that's our final thoughts is that it's not worth it. It's okay, but it's not our fave and for the price It's a no from us <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure that if you did in the beginning of the video subscribe down below Give this because video Because you watched this whole video and you didn't subscribe Why would you do that? Give this video a like and If you liked it and if you didn't, um, make sure to um, Make sure to press uh, share, other, and cancel And uh, yeah Okay, we'll see you guys I'll see you guys. Oh, and also um, follow me on Instagram at uh, makeupslay.zoe and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which will be in the description, right? Yes, and also follow me on my Instagram if you aren't already. Description box down below. Which you is already... alexander.radwin. No. Yes, you already know. So catch us on Zoe and Xander's reviews next time. That was pretty good. Are we starting? No, I think we're just going to stand here. Okay. Zoe Apple herself! And we will come back. Okay, okay. Okay, three, two, one. Wait. If you aren't already, make sure to close. <laughs> um. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, and it's looking okay. Um, we have a lot. Uh... <laughs> okay, so um, uh, I yeah, or like some cornstarch. <laughs> I'm just joking. Closing up this video because we're gonna go to bed. No, say it. We're say going it, to bed. Say maybe. Bye. Wait, wait.